Hola, ¿cómo estás? Espero que estés muy bien. Bienvenido o bienvenida a esta lección. Hello and welcome to today's lesson. Today we're going to be talking about reflexive verbs in Spanish. Now, reflexive verbs can oftentimes be very confusing for us when we're learning Spanish because we see this little reflexive pronoun a lot. Se. Now, this se is not to be confused with the impersonal or the passive se, which I talk about in another video lesson. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about reflexive pronouns. Now, what are reflexive verbs? Reflexive verbs are when a subject performs an action on itself. Okay, so we'll take a look at some examples here and kind of dive deeper into that. But let's first take a look at our reflexive pronouns. Okay, we have me, te, se, se, nos, and se. Now, me is for the yo, te is for the tu, se right here is for usted, se is for El, ella, usted, excuse me, el, ella, nos for nosotros, and se for ellos, ellas, ustedes. Now, this is quite confusing because if I hear se, 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 se for all these different people, how am I supposed to know which is which, okay? The answer is based off of context clues, and we also might have the subject stated in the sentence. For example, Yo is the subject here, me is the reflexive pronoun, and lavo is our verb, okay? Yo me lavo. I wash myself, okay? I wash me, okay? If I just say yo lavo, we don't know what I'm washing. So, for example, I could be washing el perro, the dog, okay? So, when I add this little word, this reflexive pronoun, me, for the yo person, becomes I wash myself okay so you can't say yo lavo okay if you want to say i'm going to shower you wouldn't say voy a duchar duchar is the verb to shower you wouldn't say voy a duchar you would say voy a duchar me or me voy a duchar okay so because this is telling us hey we're doing that to ourselves if i just say voy a duchar we don't know what I'm going to be showering. Am I going to be showering the dog? Okay, that's why we need a reflexive pronoun here. Okay, so let's take a look at this side of the whiteboard now. Okay, you may have seen this on bathroom signs before. Uh, if you've seen a sign in English and Spanish, then you might see this. Lavarse las manos. Okay, wash your hands. Okay, wash one's hands. Okay, se right here is reflexive. Why? Because lavarse, that is something that someone does to themselves, right? Like we talked about. The subject performs that action on itself. When you wash your hands, you are performing that action onto yourself, okay? No one is washing your hands for you. Therefore, it's reflexive, okay? Lavarse las manos, okay? For example, me lavo las manos. I wash my hands. Now, notice how it's not me lavo mis manos, right? That would make sense. Me lavo mis manos. I wash my hands myself, my hands. It just doesn't sound good, okay? You're going to use las, okay? As opposed to mis, okay? For example, I brush my teeth. Me lavo los dientes. It wouldn't be me lavo mis dientes, okay? That's important to understand, okay? Me lavo las manos. If you make that mistake when you're speaking with someone, it's not going to be a big deal. They'll totally understand what you're saying. However, the proper way is to say it this way. Okay? Ella se ducha cada mañana. <laughs> so I have been rubbing up on the whiteboard here. My hat a lot of times will kind of hit on the whiteboard. So ella se ducha cada mañana. She showers herself each morning or every morning okay now in english we would just say she showers every morning okay but in spanish we need to add that reflexive pronoun because if i just say ella ducha cada mañana well what does she shower who does she shower okay but when we add se that tells us hey we're talking about her she's doing that action to herself remember because this right here el ella usted right ella she falls under that category Okay, 
ella se ducha cada mañana, ¿ok? Ustedes se despiertan muy temprano. You guys wake up very early, ¿ok? Once again, notice how se represents ustedes in this case, ¿ok? That's why this little word se can be really confusing because it can refer to the usted, el, ella, and then the ellos, ellas, ustedes, okay? So it can be kind of confusing, but the more and more you're practicing this, the more and more you're seeing it, the more it's just going to become second nature. You're not going to have to think about it, okay? Ustedes se despierta muy temprano. You guys wake up very early. The verb here being despertarse, meaning to wake up, okay? And finally, we have cometelo, okay? Now, Sometimes a reflexive pronoun can be used to add emphasis to something. So in this case, we are literally saying, eat you it, okay? Come is an informal command, meaning eat. I'm telling you informally, hey, eat. Now, I don't have to add the te here. I can just say, comelo, meaning eat it. But when I, when I add the te here, That is adding extra emphasis. I'm saying, hey, really, eat it up. Eat it all up, okay? As opposed to, hey, eat it. We have eat it all up, okay? Cometelo, okay? This is very common for an abuela to come up to you and to say, mijo, cometelo. Like, hey, come on, you gotta eat up, right? Cometelo, okay? So sometimes the reflexive pronoun can be used to add extra emphasis, okay? Just like you might say, muy or mucho, right? Words like that to add emphasis. Sometimes when you add a reflexive pronoun, it can do just that. Okay, um, so there you have it. Um, a quick side note, kind of before we end this lesson. When it comes to the placements of our reflexive pronouns, they either come before the conjugated verb. So in this case, ella se ducha, okay? Ducha is the conjugated verb, meaning it came from the infinitive verb, duchar, and now it's conjugated in this form, in this person, ella. So, ella se ducha. This reflexive pronoun comes before this conjugated verb, okay? Or, we can attach it to the present progressive. For example, um, I'm trying to think of an example. Okay, I am washing myself. Me est estoy lavando or estoy lavándome, okay? Lavándome. That's the present progressive. We can add that onto the end, that reflexive pronoun. We can also do the command, which we're seeing here. Cometelo. In fact, with the reflexive pronoun, you wouldn't say te comelo. It would be cometelo. Okay, so for the commands, it has to be attached onto the end here. And finally, an infinitive verb. For example, I am going to shower. Voy a ducharme. Like we talked about. Voy a ducharme. Okay, I am going to shower. I could also say me voy a duchar. Because me is going before the conjugated verb. Boy, okay? So, you have two options, okay? It's preference. The meaning is still the exact same. Me voy a duchar, voy a ducharme. They both mean the exact same thing, okay? All right, so there you have it. There are your reflexive pronouns. I hope this wasn't too confusing. The only reason that reflexive pronouns can sometimes be quite difficult is just because of this stuff going on here. The says, okay? The says are what make this confusing because you see different forms of se, like no se, I don't know. But you also have what we call the impersonal and passive se, which I cover in another video lesson. So make sure to check that one out on this channel. Okay, well, there you have it. Espero que te haya gustado la lección. Si tienes una duda, una pregunta, hazmela en la descripción del video. If you have any doubts, any questions, just ask me it down below in the comments. And thanks so much for watching. Nos vemos muy pronto. Adios.